Hey, Paul. Hey, how's it going? I, uh, I'm driving the Honda Element today because we're doing something big. We're going to Santan Solar, one of my sponsors, the best place in the country to get solar panels, hands down, but we're not going there to get solar panels today. We are going there to get mini split air conditioners with heat pumps. It's going to revolutionize our lives. I have been on the road for over seven years now, all seven years, no air conditioning whatsoever, unless I go into a house or something, but we're changing all of that. We're picking up two air spool, mini split air conditioners to go into our school bus. One's gonna be at the front, one's gonna be at the back, and it is going to absolutely change everything. I cannot wait. It has been so long since I've had an air conditioned ride, like we're in one now, but this is crazy. It's gonna be amazing. So shout out to Santan, we're heading there now, and we're gonna be picking up some awesome air conditioners made by Air Spool. Super efficient, they have heat, they have air conditioning, they have everything. They also have a solar input, so you can directly hook up solar panels directly to the air conditioner. You don't need batteries, you don't need an inverter, you don't need a, a charge controller, any of that stuff. It's all contained inside plug in solar panels and boom you got power as long as there's sun it won't cost you anything to run your air conditioner or your heater amazing have you ever had a mini split before no I haven't this is my first mini split I'm gonna be installing it for the first time so in the next video you're gonna see step by step how to install the entire thing from top to bottom bottom to top I think you go front to back <laughs> which like one that. is it <laughs> I mean, I hear it's important. It is important. You don't want to do it the wrong way. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, I actually, when I went on the road in the bread truck, I did have a mini split air conditioner in it. Wait, you lied? I did. I just remembered. It worked for about two hours and then broke. Yeah. Yeah. When Not you, good. So you broke it. Yeah. I, it, it was me. It, I did break it. It was my fault. I had a generator that was too small for the mini split. I freaking broke it. It totally fried the, the board on it. Great. Yep. Probably just did it top to bottom. I did it bottom to top, yeah. I, top to bottom, or I went back to front is what I did. <laughs> that was the problem. So do they do other things besides solar panels and air conditioners? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can actually go to Santan and get a lot of new, new equipment. They have new solar panels, they have charge controllers, they have inverters. They have the basic equipment that it takes to hook up a solar system all together. So you can put your entire solar power system together with the products from Santan. Uh, I think they even have batteries. Um, they have all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah, you can go to Santan and really accomplish some things. Yeah, and they do a lot of work with nomads, I feel like. Oh yeah, no, definitely. The nomad community is well aware of Santan at this point. Yeah. And, uh, they generally go to Santan for solar panels any chance they get. And I, uh, when we go to a lot of like the van build events and Van Aid and Scully or whatever, I feel like somebody always buys like a pallet of Santan for solar sure. panels and then they're super cheap, right? When you buy yeah. a pallet. Yeah, we were just at um, the we were at the Van Aid event and someone went and grabbed us a pallet of 250 watt solar panels. I think they were $25 yeah it's insane and those are the used it's ones insane. yeah of course they're used yeah but they're used but like they're, they're barely functional. like they're, they're still great yeah they've been used for actually several years and solar panels just degrade a little bit year after year but they're still totally functional and usable they range from about 90 to 95 percent efficiency of what they were when they're new so your bang for your buck dollar per watt you're definitely going to benefit from going to Santee. What was it, 10 cents a watt? Like $25 for a 250 watt panel, that's incredible. And if you have a property like we do, like we have a stack of solar panels. For sure. You know, like we need them for like all the time for random things or somebody else needs one and we can, we can, you know, trade, trade them or whatever, like. Yep. Um, as a matter of fact, we just put up a solar panel to use it as a roof. Yeah. Because we needed to cover our outside yeah. bathroom. So we use a solar panel as a roof. And we're like, oh, okay, I guess, well, why not? Let's have some power in here. Yeah. 
We're pulling into Santa Inn now. So here you get off at Lindsay Road. Off the 202 in Phoenix. In South South Phoenix, Chandler, kind of Gilbert area. Yep. And I think it's like over here. There it, it is, is, right there. Look at all those solar panels. There's so many. Look they're at so, them. They're so cute. They're all over the place. They have literally thousands of solar panels out here. I don't know it's if you can crazy. Whoa, that building oh, did not used to be that there. That building was not there last year. Holy cow. It scared me. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> uh, don't be scared. I was looking through tunnel vision through the camera and all of a sudden I was like, <laughs> wow. New, new building. <laughs> it jumped out like a zombie. <laughs> Nash, come here, Nash. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, this is like, is this a Santan mascot? Basically. <laughs> this is Nash, everybody. Oh, hi, Nash. Look how cute. He's a golden doodle, and he's a big old boy. What are you doing, Oh, buddy? my gosh, those eyes. What a sweetheart. Sit. You sit? You're a good boy. What a good puppy. Do you shake? Yes, you do. <laughs> what a good boy. I love him. <laughs> oh, he's like, you want me to pose too? Oh, he's so sweet. He's such a good buddy. Oh. Can I have your paw? Oh. Can I have your paw? Oh. Okay, what's the belly scratch? <laughs> 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 what a good boy. Oh. <laughs> well, we're not here to talk about Nash today. What are we here to talk about, We're here to talk about that right there. <laughs> that is the air spool hybrid mini split air conditioning heat pump and it also has solar inputs on it so that you can run that directly off of solar panels and you don't need the whole system the batteries the charge controller the inverter that runs directly off of solar panels but also plugs into your backup power so that when there isn't sun it'll instantly switch over to your regular power system so that is a really cool thing about this system we are picking up two of these today from Santan Solar this is the air spool mini split. Uh, this is the inside cartridge. This is what's going to be on the inside of our bus. We're going to have one of these up front, one of these in the back to effectively cool the entire bus or heat the entire bus. And then this is the outside air handler unit. This part is going to be going under the floor in our bus, two of them side by side. And then the line set will run up through the floor into the inside cartridges for um, the, uh, for the thing to work. But I'm gonna be showing you in a video exactly how to hook all of this up, the installation in our bus and everything like that. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a total game changer, going from no air conditioner for seven years to having two air conditioners in our solar powered home. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited about and it's doing this. The 2024 most efficient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean this is a very uh, it's impressive. good sear rating, yeah. a 22 sear, so it's very uh, efficient, it's not going to suck a ton, a ton of power, and um, I believe these also have a DC inverter style compressor inside, so they are very efficient units, and they're going to work amazing with our huge solar system, should be able to power this with no problem at all. So we're going to be going down to the pickup area and picking them up, loading them in the car, taking them back to our property to install in our shorty school bus. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, we're back in the element. Back in the element. Do we, are we ready to go home now? <laughs> no, not yet. We have to get the mini splits first. Oh. You don't want to go back to front. You want to <laughs> do it in the right order. Okay. This is Santan. This is, this whole building is their warehouse and all of their operations happens in this huge building. It's filled with solar panels and all sorts of other amazing equipment for your solar system. Heating and cooling. Uh, power generation, all of that stuff can be got here at Santan. Seriously, my favorite place to get solar power stuff in the country. So we d we had an appointment, but you could just walk in there where we just were. We're Absolutely. Where it just had that entrance sign. You sure can. You can come on in, pick up stuff, no problem. Lots of friendly and folks uh, there to answer all your questions, all your solar questions. Pick up right here. Pick up. That's what she said, one of the spots that says pick up. Okay, I'm gonna pull into this one. Okay. Man, just like the grocery store. Just call this phone number. If you have a pickup order, you just pull into the space. <laughs> yeah. And you call the number and give yeah. them your order number and then they bring it right out to you. If you're gonna be doing something like picking up a pallet of panels, 
you'll definitely want to call ahead and place an order with them and they'll get it um, situated and loaded up for you, ready to put it in your vehicle. We got both the air spool units loaded up in the car. Everything fits. It's pretty amazing. You can close that buddy up. That's why I love a Honda Element. Tons of room. Look at that. Look at that, would ya? It's amazing. We got it all in there. No problem. How excited are you? So excited. <laughs> I am so excited to get these things installed in the bus. In the next part of the video, we're going to be back at our property. I'm going to be taking these out of the box, show you what comes in the box and all the equipment that is included in an air spool, mini split air conditioning with the heat pump. And I'll show you all around what you get when you open one of these packages up and what comes with it and what you might need to install it. So for now, we're going to go, we're going to get back to our property and I'll see you again real soon. Here it goes. Hey everybody. And welcome to this video about an epic project that is a total life changing thing we are putting in our bus. As you can see here, I have two boxes from air spool. I got these from Santan solar. Santan solar is a sponsor of the channel. They provided these to me to install into our school bus. Now this is just one of them. I have one already installed on the bus. It's already up and running, keeping us cool. We have 95 degree temperatures out here and it's hot. And we got one in the back of the bus already hooked up, all functional, and it is working excellent. We've been using it for a few weeks now. But I'm gonna open these boxes up, show you what comes in the box. What we got here in these boxes is a mini split AC unit with a heat pump. So you have AC and heat all in this easy to install package. Super simple to put in. It is a project, maybe not totally a beginner project, but you can do it yourself at home in your RV, whatever you wanna put it in, you can get this thing going pretty simply. This mini split is a special unit. It is a hybrid, which means it has MC4 solar inputs on it. You can hook solar panels directly up to this unit, not have any other power source whatsoever and have free air conditioning. You don't have to pay for power. You can hook up solar panels directly to these and not have any other thing. It'll power on when the sun's out. Of course, it's not gonna run at night, but it will run all day long for free so there's a lot of flexibility in the system with your power options obviously i'm running completely off grid here we don't have any other power whatsoever so it's all solar power and these things are very efficient it's amazing you're talking about about a thousand watts of output when it's uh the hottest part of the day usually it's around three four hundred watts um it can get down as low as 200 watts at night when it's cool and you're just you know keeping a steady maintained temperature in your inside your rig one thing that's really awesome about these things is that they are super quiet it is a next level when you compare this to like a window unit or other types of air conditioning these things are whisper quiet so what we have here is the air handler unit this is the evaporator that goes inside the bus this is the part with the fan that's going to be providing all the cold air to your living space i have the air conditioner running on the back of the bus right now you probably can't even hear it it is so quiet it's amazing it's only about 12 feet away from us right now but I'm gonna open this up show you what comes inside the box and start installing this unit today So the air spool comes with a wireless remote. You can control everything from here. The thing I use the most is the Wi-Fi app for your phone. It is amazing. You can set up schedules. You can do all sorts of stuff and completely automate this thing so that it works without even touching it. This is a condensate hose that's gonna route all of the condensation from the unit to the outside of your rig. Here's the packet of the owner's manual. You got some MC4 connectors so you can make your own ends for your MC4 PV wire. You got a holder for your remote, a pass through for the line set and some uh, just random, uh, random tools here, some mounting hardware. It even gives you a set of MC4 tools so you can take apart your MC4 wires. And this is the star of the show, the main thing that we want out of this box. If I can get it out. 
There we go. Also in the bottom of the box, you have your power wires that go from the air handler to the outside condenser and your power wire that you will plug into 120 volt. Okay, and there we have it. That is the inside air handler unit. This is a pretty compact little thing. It won't get in the way of most stuff. You can easily fit this in most houses, porches, garages, whatever, RVs, vans even. Um, this is gonna be inside your living space and uh, this is gonna blow all the, the cold air comes right out of this bottom vent here. This part right here is taped closed right now and I'm gonna leave it all taped closed until it's fully installed because I want it to stay together and not break during the installation. But uh, this will pop down and revolve. It'll actually auto automatically revolve and blow air up and down in your living space if you choose to use that setting. So I'm gonna set this aside right now and then we'll get into the condensing unit in the big box and I'll show you what that piece looks like. All right, so this guy, Right here is our outdoor condensing unit. This part goes outside and is weatherproof. This can stay in the sun and the rain and the cold or whatever. We just pull the top of this box off of here. Set that aside. There we have it. That is the outside part of the mini split air conditioner. Comes with a roll of uh, UV tape for your line set. This is a fitting for your condensate hose. If you wanna run this in here, out the wall or something, you can use this part. This part here is the part that most people get very intimidated by, but I assure you we have hooked one of these up and is really not as intimidating as it seems. You can vacuum these out. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that, but you can vacuum these lines out and let the uh, refrigerant into the lines and it's really not that big of a deal. People think that you have to have a professional do this and I just don't think so. I believe this is a DIY install. So you have two lines here. This one is a quarter inch line. This is for the liquid side. This is a three eighths line and this is for your uh, evaporated side. This mini split comes with about a 15 or 16 foot line set. If you need to go long, longer than that, it can be run up to 45 feet. I believe it's 15 meters that this thing can actually reach out to. So if you have to put your air handler far away from the outside condensing unit, um, you can go up to, I think 48 feet according to the manufacturer specs. So uh, this line set might not be useful for you. You might want to buy a new one, but I'm using raw copper line. I'm putting flared ends on it and I'm going to make the line set myself. I will use part of this, but um, I'm going to be extending this out because the outside uh, unit will be at the back of the bus and the air handler will be all the way at the front of the bus, about 28 feet away. I'm going to be extending this line out and hacking this up to make my own line set. It's really not that difficult. So this is the air spool outside uh, unit. And as you can see here, this is the important thing about this unit is that it has MC4s sticking out of the side. So all you gotta do is plug in some solar panels here. You don't need a charge controller. You don't need any other equipment, an inverter or anything. You can put solar panels directly into this unit and it will run directly from the sun. It is pretty incredible. This is the part that you have facing out away from the building. This is the side that will be generally hidden. It has the coils and everything uh, on the back side here, but it's a very presentable unit. I really like the look of it. Pretty sleek, pretty general. So this is our 28 foot bus. We have 3,200 watts of solar panels up on the roof. And I built an extra cage back here that holds our mini split air conditioners. I have one installed already. You can see that beautiful unit working right there, working properly, working great. And the other one is gonna go right next to it. I'm gonna have two side by side. That's a lot of cooling and heating power in our bus. It's amazing. 